Hello, Nikolai from Ubersat. We've been talking a lot about robustness, but how do we actually ensure that our instrument will have sufficient robustness and sufficient lifetime? The first thing we did was to choose the best individual hardware components that we could find. But then again, how do we ensure that these uh, components actually perform and have sufficient lifetime in our special use case? So what we did was to design this accelerated lifetime setup. And the idea here is that we have each hardware component represented and we've plumbed it in a way that allows us to really speed up things. So each injection represents a full-blown run, but now we're actually able to run 700 injections per day or about 4,000 injections per week. And this really speeds up things. We're const constantly monitoring the system, uh, but once a week we do a more thorough checkup where we really uh, put the system through uh, a full check, uh, checking for leaks and also back pressures of the different regions of the system. Uh, this system has been running for about a week now, and the target is 50,000 injections uh, for this system. We're currently building a second system to get a little bit more mileage. Um, but all in all, this should give us a pretty good idea of what, what will uh, be worn down over time and if or if we need to do any design changes. Hopefully not, but let's see. These data will also be super useful for us to uh, uh, make our preventive maintenance schedule. Um, so let's see how this pans out. I'll do a follow-up in a later video blog. And next time I will be in Martin Street to check up on the beta installation down there. So stay tuned and see you then.